but how this appears in some people's dreams um, and what the strategy is for overcoming the opposition or dealing with the opposition of the developer. Well, there are two problems. One is we use the word opposition. We are the opposition. And your examples of being a, a teacher and needing to be that part of your identity is exactly what you're saying. Until you realize that at some point, if you exactly if you decide, okay, I'm not going to go along with this anymore. I'm going to let myself be something else. You realize there's another layer in which you turn to pathology, and which is the resistance that isn't us. But there's something in us that wants, wants us to be ignorant, that wants us to not remember who we are. So if we go along with it, we think it's us. And we blame ourselves also. There's a huge price to pay for believing that we're responsible for our condition. Or blaming our parents, because it goes deeper than that. Because there's an underlying willfulness in every human being that wants to keep us without knowing what God wants for us. The opposite of God, whatever that is. We term it pathology. Once you get to the point where you no longer are willing to put up with your persona and willing to take to take steps and move deeper in the work, like you mean with fixing your fear and so forth, going into deep, deeper feelings. The mythology becomes exposed and often will appear in dreams as a monster. Not a monster that you project onto something that you're scared of that's often as good, but a monster that truly exists in us all, in the world. The monstrous acts of others which continue to this day, the everyday headlines go on in every person's being uh, as well as in the world. We just often don't know how it's working. We don't understand that our will is tied to that will. And when the dream does the hard work of shedding the persona, we find that there's something in us that doesn't want us to shed the persona. And so then we have to face something else that we didn't expect to face, something that is not us.
is reflected something dark in you that right. projected onto those men. So that, then, then that was what you had to look at. Brad, I had to look at my part in it. But I wasn't just the victim of the, you know, the bad scary man that I was married to. But I had to look at <laughs> at the me who was complicit, that the part of the inside me that was complicit, that, that mirrored that, which I absolutely manifested, and and then had to see um, that I that that, that that worked for me on some level. Then I could be the sort of victim of a dark, scary man, and then I could hide and I could never be who I needed to be. Right, and your relationship was with the dark, scary man, so there's a Right. Which is the true battle of the whole thing. All the psychological struggles that we go through are unique to each person. But the ultimate battleground is that the teacher can't teach. And there is no soul, there is no student. And so we're always tied up in this fight with something that keeps us always away from the truth. Well, it's great. It's very convenient to have an external drama that you can keep playing out. Um, Mark, so you sometimes said that, I mean, and you've been seeing clients for so long, you've seen an encyclopedia of clients, um, that some people have what you call a marble in pathology in the sense that it's uh, productive and functional. In other words, it's not true for every, you know, you could be a very successful person, right, and be driven to that success by pathology. Um, I had a client once. Uh, the dream of uh, being on the beach, and he was with a little girl, and she was showing him a drawing, and he was really almost, his heart was open, which was the first dream he'd had his heart open. And, and along comes a guy in a business suit walking across the beach saying, uh, why don't you come here and look at the new JCC we're building? And he left the little girl behind and walked up to the guy in the suit. And um, he told me, that's the guy, that's why I've written so many books. Because of him. He says at any given moment I have a 30 page to do list, you know, with that guy. So I'm just wondering are there cases where people see the pathology and say, yep, I like that, I'm going to keep that? Absolutely. The pathology uh, has two tricks that are common. And one is to make you not think that it's there, to make you think that it's you. So it either boosts you up. In the case of this exam, example, it's a good pathology because he's making a lot of money, everybody's kissing his ass, and he's loving it. So why would you want to get rid of a pathology that's actually helping you be a successful person in the world? See, so you're seduced by the success of that. Um, then, of course, there's, if that can't work because you're a dysfunctional person, um, and many of us are, which is actually a better thing, is that you're never get good enough in the world to really be attached to it. So um, in, in that in that case it tries to it, it, it tries to make you feel like you're a terrible person. But if you see through that one and you see it, it will come to in your dreams as a terrible, terrible being that will ravish and destroy you. Sometimes you'll be sexualized in your anus, uh, which is the one one that we call the whore master type of pathology. Uh, it can be pretty dirty, and those people tend to be on, um, uh, they go to shrinks and they get uh, drugs for that, and it's very hard thing to, to break, and with those clients I encourage them to work with me and their dreams and also to see a psychiatrist and get some of those drugs, because sometimes the college has them so deeply, which we call nihilism, which psychiatrists call depression. Uh, there's just no way out of it. So it'll, you know, it doesn't care how it gets you. It can love you to death by giving you things you think you want, like the devil, some of those myths, or it just will basically just shit down your throat. Um, or, or a combination. That's a technical term. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Not personal. Yes. Uh, so that's that's a great answer. Um, I guess if you could elaborate a little bit, because that dream also shows.